Hi, it's Kevin here from Team Focus. Whenever you get a new bit of technology or a new bit of software, it's always better if you've got a friend that can show you around. So if you can put up with my Australian accent for about five minutes, I'll show you around Team Focus, and hopefully this should save you at least that much time in getting to use it more quickly. So while you've got this video going, I suggest you pause it occasionally and go into your own group and try some things out, and you can follow along and hopefully get to make some tasks and you'll have some real data to play with. If you don't have a team yet, don't worry. When you create an account, you'll get to pick a workflow and set up all your team by yourself. If you don't want to have a team, don't worry. Feel free to sit back, watch the video, and learn all about Team Focus features. So first, I'll just show you how to add a task. At the top of every list you get here, which is the list you get when you first log in, you just have these empty boxes. That's where you're entering a task. Once you're finished, just press Enter, or you can press on the green tick. That task's now saving. It's been given a task number for you. OK, it's also left the cursor back up here, so you can add a lot of tasks very quickly if you need to. But for now, I'll just click off. So that task is here at the moment. Now, it doesn't have a worker. Now, this list, this search that I'm running with at the moment, is just showing my active tasks. Because I haven't assigned a worker yet, it doesn't know that it's mine. So what I'll do is I'll click on that and assign it to me. So you can see now we've just gone green. This task is now on this list. And that's how you would assign a worker to a task. So you can go and create some tasks and assign other people in your team to them straight away. OK, you can actually make any changes you like in this list. And just press Enter to finish doing that. So that's how easy it is to quickly change any task on your list. Now, whoever set up the workflow for you has defined these fields as summary fields. Now, these are the fields you see in search results. But there's actually more information stored against any task. If you click on the pencil, you can see at the top, these are the summary fields. Down the bottom, these are all the extras that you can store against a task. Now, your group administrator gets to have full control over these, and you can store as much or as little data on a task as you like. Now, in Team Focus, you don't simply complete a task. You move it on to the next step. You can see that task in the background is still green because it's living on this list that I'm using at the moment. If I go up to my Move tab, I want to move this task to the Complete step now. I also have options of Cancel and Waiting. I'm just going to click to move it to Complete. And you can see the task now has gone yellow because it's no longer in my active task list. If I refresh this list now by pressing the refresh icon, you can see that task is now gone. Now, it's important to note that tasks never get deleted out of Team Focus, so it just will appear on a different set of search results. A task may appear on no search results, or it may appear on lots of different search results. It's really up to you about how you want to set up your lists and what you want to do with the tasks. I'll show you how to find that one again later if you need to. But first, I'll give you a quick look at metrics. These coloured things on the side of all these tasks are metrics. Now, that's just telling you, in this case, how long since a task has been moved on this step. You can see there's a green because they're moved in the last seven days. These ones down here are red because they haven't been moved for more than 14 days. So what you can see is on any list that you get, you can see how long those tasks have been at their relevant steps or how long since they've been edited. Your administrator can control what those metrics mean. Now, wouldn't it be great if you could see your entire workflow and all the task counts and all the colours in one go? Well, with Workflow View, you can see just that. So what this is showing you is in your workflow, you have four green tasks at active, 25 red tasks at active, and these other counts are just showing you all the different task counts for all the different metrics at every, at every step. So if you want to see what those 25 tasks are at active that have been there for more than 14 days, just click on the red. Now you can clearly see all the results from that particular search. Now what Team Focus has done, it's just done a search for you to show you these particular tasks, and you can see that search up here. There's a whole video on searching if you want to know more about searching, but you don't really need to worry about all the complicated stuff now. The easiest way to do a search if you ever want to find particular jobs is just type in what you want here. Type in payroll, you immediately see all the payroll jobs. Now you can do things like, I only want to see active payroll jobs. So payroll, step active, will immediately show me only the active payroll jobs. Now, if you've made a search that you find particularly useful, or you'd like to be able to get back to that really easily in the future, what you can do is just type Save Search here, and then you can save that search for later. Team Focus will just ask you what you want to call that search. I'll call it Payroll Tasks That Are Active. Save that. And it'll actually pop out my lists here. So you can see that new list just at the top, Payroll Tasks That Are Active, contains four tasks. All of these other lists here are lists that have been made by my team for me. So when you first create an account, you would have seen these automatically populated from your team administrator, or we actually give you some sample lists when you first start up. 
So while we're in here, I'll just show you how to share and unshare these lists. If you click on the little icon here, it's white at the moment. That means it's only on my lists. Any other team member won't see that. If I log into a different browser, I'll see it, but no one else in the team will. If I'd like to share that, if that's a valuable search that the rest of the team should be able to have access to, all I need to do is click on that little icon, It'll go blue, and that just means that list is now shared with the team. When anyone looks in their favourites, it'll also be there as a blue list. If I would like that to be personal again, just click on it again. It'll go back to being white, and it'll disappear off the rest of the team members' screens. Now, as these are just saved searches, you might have a task that doesn't appear on any of these for some reason. Now, what we've made is a thing called a task finder. So if you click up here and go find tasks, this will always show you all tasks so that you can never worry about missing a task again. All you need to do is expand on one of these steps and you can immediately see, because Active has metrics to find, you can easily see that it's split up the green, amber and red tasks and you can also see my worker task because it knows that there's a worker field and it knows that I'm logged in as a certain user anything that's assigned to me it will show me here if you've got due dates it'll also give you some expansion to due dates it'll say show me things before today and show me things due in the next couple of weeks so you can easily find any task here just by clicking on that now I'm just going to go back to one of my team favorite lists and click on unallocated tasks at the moment and close the side panel now, as this is my unallocated task list, I'd like to allocate some of these. If I click on Worker, I get the list of all the other users in that team. But in this case, I'd like to invite a new person. So I'll just go down to Invite User, type in their address here. Then I'll just go down to click Invite. They've now got an email with an invitation in it. They can just click on the link and come in. But in the Worker field, you can see there's Bob's already been added to this list. There's a little envelope there just signifying that he hasn't accepted the invitation yet. I can assign a task to him. And now that task has just gone yellow because it's no longer unallocated. If I refresh this list, that task will be gone. Now, of course, when Bob logs in and looks at my allocated tasks or my active tasks, he'll see those tasks on his list. So we've come to the end of our brief tour. There's plenty more videos out there if you want to know any more details in depth on any of these features. But for now, I hope you get in to use Team Focus quickly, and I can't wait to see what you can do with it. Thanks for your time.